It was late evening, first of May. It was evening May, the time for love. The placid lake in shadow thicket resounded darkly secret pain, like siblings in a childish game. Living alone now, I notice how slow toothpaste can go. Wow. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah? You are the girlfriend? Uh, no, no, not at all. You know his girlfriend? Yeah. What's what her name? Pamela. Pamela. Oh. And, and do you uh, like to have sex with Pamela? Excuse me? Do you like to fuck her? I don't think it has to do anything with my writing. Ah, you don't think it has something to do with your writing? I think uh, if you enjoy fucking Pamela, you, you would uh, write a better poem than the mopping shit you just read. Okay, next. Uh, you you want to read something? <coughs> Tell me what happened after your first book. If it was so successful, why didn't you write anymore? No, I was doing other things. But why did you stop writing? I'm more interested in your life. Nobody took such an interest in my work before. You shouldn't have such a low confidence in yourself, you might say. <laughs> such a popular activity. Visiting castles. Yeah. The only castles we have are at Disneyland. This is the original Disneyland. He left the white space around Ginsberg and Ferlinghetti. Is, is that a cold breeze coming through this room? Or? What do you mean? Is that a comment of my work? Or are you really cold? Um, you know, this is a workshop here, so you better get used to criticism. Uh, have you ever heard about surrealism? Yes, I've read them. Who? Eluard, Breton, Zara. Please tell us, sir. Poem of André Breton. I don't know any by heart. I don't know any by heart. Okay, next. Uh, you. Going. Juliet's birthday, remember? Juliet's birthday. You, you never told me about that. I did, you just forgot. Are you going to meet someone? Like who? You know who. I don't get this. Aren't you chasing some guy? No, I'm going to meet my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 
did you say you're going again? I told you. Now move. You're scaring me. I'm scaring you. Oh, oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm just trying to communicate. It's a part of a good relationship. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Oh, you don't care enough about me just to talk. I feel tired all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, you should have some rest. We'll make you a tea. You want a tea? Good tea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm worried about you. You understand that? Their hopes stashed, their dreams deferred. That's it. Well, how old are you? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. And there is any particular reason you, you write with the voice of a child? I wasn't aware that the voice was of a child. Uh, yes, it's a nine-year-old girl or a mentally challenged woman. Which is it? Tell us. Tell us. You're the writer. Perhaps the voice is feminine. No, it's not feminine. It's childish, and you should be aware of that. I didn't find the voice was immature. I thought the voice was self-aware. Yeah, please don't get me started on you now. Maybe you should rewrite it as a memory of a very old woman and see what you can come up with. more it's evening, first of May. His evening May, the time for love. The placid lake in the shadowed thicket resounded darkly secret pain, like siblings in a childish game.